up your YouTube, search for Stupid Meadows, watch on your big screen. Or another device if you're at home. Get yourself comfy, this could take a while. What a happy scene. Something new every day for your long term memory. This is so exciting, it is nearly time for a Stupid Assembly.
Hey, 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 it's time to say we've got a stupid birthday. Hey, 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 it's time to say we've got a stupid birthday. <laughs> oh, come on! And we are learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, everyday knowledge for you. And we are learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, everyday knowledge for you. Whoa! Everyday knowledge. First question. What was different about that entrance? What was different about my jumping? That's right. It was from that side. I've never jumped in from that side before. I've moved things around in the garage a little bit. It's summer E. The weather's getting summery, warmer. I'm moving things around in the garage and now I can jump in from both sides, people. Yes, I can. Exciting. Okay, everyday knowledge. We've had a bit of a break from everyday knowledge. A break is good for your memory. It's good because it means that you start to forget things. And then when I make you remember them again, when I make your long term memory uh, work hard to bring them back into your main memory your working memory, when I do that, it m helps you to remember them promise you. So this is good. Right, let's get cracking. I'm going to give you a little bit of everything. Let's start off with the periodic table. Do you remember the periodic table? Some very clever scientists put it together. It's got every element that we know about. An element is the smallest, most basic part um, of everything around us. Let's see if we know what these symbols stand for. Nitrogen, well done. Neon, well done. Aluminium, well done. Carbon, well done. Fluorine, well done. Hydrogen, well done. Helium, well done. Oxygen, well done. Iron, well done. Sodium, well done. That's it. Here's a map of the United Kingdom. Beautiful map. We've got some countries on there. Can you please give me the countries one, two, three, and four? Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, England. Uh, country number five is the Republic of Ireland. We, we can know what that country is. It's not a part of the United Kingdom, but it doesn't hurt us to know that it's, it's the fifth country. Uh, now give me the capital cities. One, two, three, four. Edinburgh, Cardiff. Belfast and London and the capital city of the Republic of Ireland is Dublin. Okay, last one. You've got four bodies of water, four um, seas, oceans all around the UK. Can you give me A, B, C and D, please? Okay, the Atlantic Ocean, the Irish Sea, the North Sea and the English Channel. Top work, everybody. OK, let's think about some pieces of artwork. Let's think about some famous pieces. I'm now going to flash some of them up. I'm going to flash them up pretty quick as well. You need to really keep a close eye. It will flash up and it will disappear. When it disappears, 
can you please give me the artist and the name of the masterpiece? Whoa! Pablo Picasso and the Weeping Woman. Whoa! Anthony Gormley, Angel of the North. Bush Tucker, Loon Coonan. The Scream by Edvard Munk. One more. That's right, Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh. Um, what is the name of the holy book in the Christian religion? That's right, it's the Bible. What's the name of the holy book in the Islam religion or the religion for Muslims? That's right, it's the Quran on what is the holy book in Judaism or for Jewish people. The Torah, that's right, well done. Um, oh, here it is. I call it the angry stomping piece of music. Can you please tell me the name of the composer and the name of the piece of music? Sergei Prokofiev and its Dance of the Nights. Now can you tell me the name of this composer and this piece of music, please? It's Rossini with the William Tell Overture. And finally, this I remember this as a child and I love it just as much now as I did then. Name of the composer and the piece of music, please. Antonin Dvorak and it is the New World Symphony. Almost forgot it myself. Okay, few dates to finish us off. Few dates to get us going. First of all, when was the Great Fire of London? 1666. When was Charles Dickens born? 1812. In what year did the first man walk on the moon? 1969. What happened in 1966? England men won the Football World Cup. Um, can you remember what the score was? It was 4-2 against West Germany. Jeff Hurst scored a hat-trick for England at Wembley. In which year? Oh, tough one. It was the Battle of Bannockburn. 1314, in which year was Roald Dahl born? 1916, in which years was the Second World War? When did it start, when did it finish? 1939 to 1945, and finally, in which year was the gunpowder plot? 1605. Well done, everybody. I uh, hope you didn't find that too tricky. It's great that we had chance to forget lots of that. It will now make it stronger in your memories, I promise. Loads more new bits coming up in uh, Everyday Knowledge. Uh, some more religious books coming up. And also, we're going to get into the solar system. Yes, we are. See you next time.